part of this shit. What is it? It's medication for erectile dysfunction. It gives you a boner. Drink it up! Not to be used if you have a pre-existing heart condition. If boners last for more than four hours, call more ladies. All right, horns up, metalheads. Time for another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. We are broadcasting from the face of the sun. It is hot. Woo! It's hot. It's hot out today. I tell you what, for a big guy who's got red hair, being hot and out in the sun is not a good thing. Well, I mean, you're only wearing your thong, so you should be plenty Did you cool. like? I, do you like this? My new RMR thong. That is pretty That imp- you can only get on our uh, website. It's pretty impressive. Is yeah. What do you got stuffed in the front there? It's like a... Uh, Looks like a like a what you, possum or something there, Zuc- red haired possum, <laughs> zucchini, All right, armadillo. So, yeah, armadillo. <laughs> hey, on today's show, we're welcoming in a new band that I tell you what, you, you got to see these guys live, Jerry. Another lost year. Yeah, that sounds. They cool. are sh- shit kicking live, yeah. man. They're a good band, and uh, we're lucky enough to have lead vocalist Clinton on the phone or with us a little later on next hour, and we're going to try to make uh, give you a laugh or two. Yes, oh, no. Is, yeah, because, I mean, you turned the goddamn news on today. and Yeah, there's nothing yeah, funny. You just well, want to lock your doors, close your windows, and hibernate. Yeah, you got to have a sense of humor about some of this some stuff. Some of this stuff, but, yeah, cow. exactly. But We'll look, just keep it music yeah. and stupid stuff. Metal Lives Matter today, right here. Metal Lives Matter. That's there right. There you go. Brand new, we got a lot of brand new music, too, and how about a new one we'll kick off the show with? This is Airborne. I've loved this band since the first time we heard them. Man. Oh, yeah. This is Breaking Out of Hell. Nice. And I bet you a lot of you feel that way when you're leaving work. Yeah. Just coming in the house seems like you're getting out, out of hell. hell. Yeah. As long as you got AC, yeah. I know, kidding. All right, here is New Airborne on Rockin' Metal Revival. If you're looking for a show that's entertaining and informative, keep looking. Rockin' Metal Revival. From the CD Porno Graffiti, there's Extreme and When I'm President on Rockin' Metal Revival. And, dude, I saw a thing today out at the... Uh, Republican National Convention that the West Baptist Church, yeah, the Black Lives Matter, and the Klan were all throwing urine at each other. Oh, nice, awesome, awesome! Piss fight, piss fight. <laughs> Let's go. Who's oh, gonna win? Oh man, is that a? Well, circuit? How do you know who won? I don't know. Who's got the least piss on him or the most piss on him? But dude, is that a, not a circus out there? Yeah, it's it's nuts, man. I'm it's surprised we like, haven't seen our buddy Chris Aiken leading up something out there. He's probably he's probably out there with all his guns, walking around. Yeah. It's Yosemite Sam in it. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... Hey, no, uh, I would, yeah. I'm glad I don't live in Cleveland. Uh, I, don't I feel sorry for here. the people of Ohio. I really yeah. do. I mean, that is just a shit show out there. And uh, but uh, you know, you turn on the news every day, and it's just like you're like, really, again, really, yep. again. Hey, yeah. people, chill out, smoke some dope, chill out. Yeah, just chill out, eat some Oreos and smoke yeah. some weed, and just get your just, Cheetos just, and porn or something. Do anything. Some, yeah, just you know what, knock it off. <laughs> Man, oh man. Hey, <laughs> don't believe everything you read, read on the yeah, internet. And on the My internet. God. Bonjour. That's you know? what, it's totally, the internet's totally ruined journalism. Because oh. back in the day, you know, you read a newspaper, the guy had credentials. You knew mm-hmm. the guy was educated, went to school, and he wasn't just copying and pasting crap from another source somewhere else but oh, nowadays exactly. nowadays everything is just you don't know who it's coming from if it's actually accurate which 99 percent of the time it isn't yeah and it's like you know come on you got to be smarter than your freaking computer sometimes exactly folks. yeah yeah uh you know read all the stories not just one the ones that you like the yeah headlines. i want the good pictures yeah i mean well, that, that's for playboy yeah that's the only reason you could i go on the internet anymore it's the only reason pictures. i go for yeah. To the Playboys for the articles. Articles, yeah. yeah. They got yeah. good articles, yeah. Exactly. They hey. usually come in pairs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, do, have you had a chance to sit down and listen to another lost year? I have. I have. They're good, man. Yeah. I'm liking them. You know what I dig about it? I can understand the lyrics. Yeah. There's that's some harmony nice. vocals, and, and there's, you know, it's yeah. good songwriting, you know, and it's. I never understood bands who. Spend all this time writing lyrics, and then you can't understand a damn word, yeah. word they're saying. Exactly. It's, all, 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 yeah. it's like, it's just, 
there's so many untalented bands out there. It's nice to see a talented one. Every yeah, once exactly. In a while. And we uh, have Clinton, the lead vocalist, on the show with us, and he writes ninety percent of their stuff too. So yeah, so it'd be good, good to have him on next hour. And uh, got some shows coming up. We're uh, I, I'm glad to see that you you de- you know you reached into the mothballs and grabbed out some cash and are going to go see a show. I'm going going. That's just because Tesla's there. I'm, yeah. I'll go see Tesla. You go and, see Def Leppard. Yeah, too. I'll watch Def Leppard. You'll but... be pulling your shirt up. Joe, oh yeah. Joe. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm hoping I'm a hoping I can get one of the roadies to get me backstage, but I'm not sure what I'm going to have. You know, to we do. should hit up Viv. Yeah, hey Viv, we're going to be at the show. Remember, yeah. you were on our. Yeah, you, you enjoyed our show so much. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Remember? Remember us? Come on, remember? I know, yeah. <laughs> hit him up, maybe. It's you funny, know? you know. You, you talk. Hey, hey guys, you I haven't have... talked to you in a long time. And then you see him at a show. What's your name? Who are you? Yeah. Yeah. What? Huh? I don't. Remember. How can you forget us? Yeah. Exactly. So uh, hey, last week we made an announcement that I we're going to be on to, we're going to be on the FM dial. Yeah, and then somebody in Minnesota told us that we already are on the FM dial. Yeah, and we're like, how the hell? Yeah, what we, do you mean? We want some swag. Yeah. So for that radio station in New York in uh, Minnesota that's playing our stuff, <laughs> or the or the guy <laughs> that is uh, is responsible, who is responsible for it. we need some we are, swag. We won't mention any names. We're not going to mention any names. But, but hey, you know, Minnesota, yeah, it's hey, nice uh, to be on the air. Good yeah, thing we're not. Hope, we hopefully, you come to my birthday anything. party again. Uh, so no uh, named guy. How do you not get in trouble? But we are going to be going that? on. Uh, we're, I might as well announce it right now. You can. We mm-hmm. the rock and metal revival, which uh, Heath down in Texas said never would be picked up by FM radio because we curse too much. Yeah. Well, God we darn might it. Have to, we might have to cut that. God darn you, Heath. That that stuff out. You yeah. Know. We might but, not uh, be able to cuss as freaking much as we want we are going on uh 105.9 the hog the hog in uh wwhg uh the hog in janesville and uh they reach all madison rockford the state line area but you can stream us online oh so um we'll get that we'll get that link put up on our website and it's and not like Facebook. when you're in the bathroom and you got that double stream sometimes no no no, stream no, no it'll be a this real good stream good stream good stream so, yeah everybody all of your adult males no yeah, yeah you yeah. need to have a good stream that's exactly that's not, go get see a, a doctor yeah but uh we are proud to be on the hog and uh, we want to thank them cool, for taking man. a risk on us yeah, yeah, we'll we be really out for do. one show. We'll about two shows and we'll be gone. So, all right. Oh, you got more, yeah, more got faith, more in, faith us. in us than that. So, all right. So, uh, let's get back to some music. We got a lot of new music to play on the show today. So, uh, why don't we play new another music new music? No, new, new. New music. Okay. So, why don't we play, uh, let's see. Well, let's play the new one from The Pretty Reckless. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is called uh, Take Me Down. So, she and was. I'm in. She was who? Lulu. Linda Lou. Who? Cindy Lou Who on Cindy uh, Lou Who? yeah oh I know. Yeah. from that Jim Carrey movie right The Grinch The Grinch yeah, yeah. that's crazy man yeah. she was just a little girl so in put that. that thing away all right here's the pretty reckless <laughs> it makes me feel really dirty it should it does. on rock and metal re- take that picture down I can't help it that's a good one there no Bieber boy bands or Kardashians only the best hard rock and classic metal rock and metal revival they're the bullet boys for the love of money on rock and metal revival and they're going to be in town next week really where back bar no kidding yeah, I didn't know I'm that. thinking I'm going to go to that really what time what? Friday night Friday night huh huh I can't uh, well maybe I can I don't Why? know I don't know as long as it's not god awful hot I'll go yeah That'll be you know. good. No, I didn't realize they'd be at the back bar. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Who so, else is playing? I don't know who's huh? playing with them, but I, I just know they're playing. And, huh. you know, I thought we'd hook up with Mark. We haven't seen him since. Yeah. Did you run into him in, in Pekin? No, I watched their show, though, from the side, of, from the side of the stage. Yeah, he was good. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. We might have to go see that. Yeah, for sure. All right. It's time for News of the Weird. And uh, yep, and there's plenty of this, and and nobody gets shot in any of this. Okay, are you sure? If I won't read it, if they do. Okay. Neighbor complains after Richfield woman mows lawn topless. What the hell? She must not have been hot. Otherwise, yeah, they wouldn't it was, complain. Uh, Washington County Sheriff's Office was called to the home of a village of Richfield a home late Monday afternoon for the report of a woman who was walking around her yard without clothing. When the deputy arrived, the 30-year-old woman was out mowing her lawn topless. Neighbors were simply asking her to refrain from the activity. Uh, deputies warned the woman that the act uh, that well, about that that the act and during contact with her noted indications of alcohol consumption. No, doesn't come on. she know she shouldn't be out in the sun? 
With yeah. a lot of booze? Yeah, you're going to get kind of worried about get it. heat stroke. Yeah, the woman Maybe was taken into... Maybe that's why she took her clothes. She's just yeah, getting too she's hot. Just too hot. Yeah. yeah. woman was taken into custody on one count of felony bail jumping. Oh, so she wasn't a good person. Oh. Ah, and four counts of misdemeanor bail jumping. Wow. She just took... She didn't want to have her ID on her in case... That, then they could ID her right exactly. away, you know? So I guess that's one way to do it, but... Well, eh. You know what? Hey, ladies, if you want to... If you want to uh, mow topless and send Jerry and I the pictures, we're okay with that. Or yard work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to come over and do our yard work? Yeah. I'm always looking for new yard work. Yeah. Yeah. And we tried to get Corey to come trim, trim your shrubs, and he wouldn't do it. Yeah, but I wouldn't. he wouldn't have had to be nude. He, no. He could have worn plenty Please, of clothes. Yeah. Lots of clothes. Probably a winter jacket. <laughs> yeah, parka. Uh, <laughs> heavy metal, according to a study, music helps listeners deal with mortality. Uh, huh. According to a study in the Journal of Psychology by Popular Media, oh, shit. Wait, metal- hold on, hold on. This might be educational, and you oh. might be inter- You might learn something. Yeah, so might be learn careful. something. So be careful with this. Okay, helps fans deal with the idea of their own death. Wow. Thirty participants took part in a project where one group listened to Slayer's 1986 classic "Angel of Death," while the others heard an audio book uh, by John Tesh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, researchers from universities in the Netherlands and Germany then asked participants to complete psychological <laughs> questionnaires. Listen to John Tesh, I'll kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they were all they stabbed themselves with the pencils. The researchers wrote, uh, heavy metal music is often associated with death and dying by non-fans, whereas members of the subculture report that listening to the metal music is their escape from depression and even helpful against death-related thoughts. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, it's helping people. Yeah, it's help get to get that crap out of your system. Yeah, so so you don't hold it in and do something. You know, you want you want to do yourself some, a good favor. Go out and buy yourself a Slayer. Album. Yeah, you're all bummed out yeah. and you're thinking of doing something stupid. Go buy a Slayer. Yeah, instead get, of listen to Slayer. Instead of getting your kids on the Riddlin, get the kids on the Slayer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No meds, just no Slayer. Med, just Slayer. Just just a Slayer diet will be fine. And that's from Red and Jerry because we're looking out for your health. Yep, that's for your health. That's a public service announcement from the RMR. All right. <laughs> Cheating boyfriend says his girlfriend caught him through Pokemon Go. Are you playing this? <laughs> Hell no. Oh. Not that I'm a cheater, cheating boyfriend, but I wouldn't play that Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Pokemon. I heard there was a bunch of them out at uh, the Isabella Queen the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but Yeah, we were really trying to catch them all, and then he got caught himself. A New York City man says he lost a girlfriend while trying to catch some Pokemon. Problem is, he was hunting them with his ex-girlfriend at his ex-girlfriend's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> While millions of people around the globe, Evan Schreiber was trying to catch them all. However, the app's mapping software allowed his current girlfriend to see all the places he's been catching the Pokemon. Uh, he was doing a little Pokemon doing himself. A, a Pokey the girlfriend. Pokey the girlfriend. Yeah. Well, wow. They, they would wonder why there was a lot of them over there. Yeah. Mm. Scribner's experience is just the latest in a series of unintended consequences popping up. As people hunt for the Pokemon, they're getting run Maybe over. Maybe that's and, why she's an ex-girlfriend, because yeah. she has so many Pokemons were there. Yeah, so many you know, Pokemon yeah, had been, been there. there yeah. yeah, and they weren't leaving. Yeah. They were still there. There so. was Pokemon Jeez. everywhere. Yeah. They were, oh, over. man, there must have been Pokemon DNA all the all scattered over. all over. Yeah. Don't go in there with a black light. Oh, yeah. my God. Paul Grissom from CSI. <laughs> Uh, wanted man, man caught while playing Pokemon Go outside police station. Uh, police <laughs> chief, chief says, I think he was more upset that he had to stop playing the game than being caught. <laughs> Pokemon Go player was trying to catch, uh, catch them all and ended up getting caught by police. William Wilcox was arrested Thursday morning for an outstanding warrant. Arrested <laughs> nice. in Milford, Michigan. Saw him playing Pokemon Go outside the station, <laughs> which is also a Pokemon gym. Way to go, man. What a dummy. He made our job much easier that day, said Police <laughs> Chief Thomas Lindbergh. <laughs> we just had, had the Pokemon right inside the cell. He walked himself <laughs> right in there, sat down. <laughs> we locked him up. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, oh, notorious nipple man grabbed after three years of uh, being a public transit pervert. So they must they let you out, though, huh? Damn. You know what? <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm nipple glad that. Man. Yeah. It was, nanner, nanner, nanner. Hey, <laughs> he was man. nipped in the bud. Oh, nice. Yes, this might be Terry. Uh, oh no, it's in Japan. Oh, <laughs> could be Steve Reamer too. Yeah. He's, 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 Police he's, saying uh, Kyoto, Japan, have arrested a man long suspected of fondling his nipples while leering at schoolgirls riding on the subway. Well, at least, at least he's not. Sounds li- more like Reamer. 
Yeah. 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 Toshiako Fukumana, 33, was arrested last month with suspicion of indecent exposure after he allegedly exposed his lower half of his body to two teenage girls. That cool. Yeah, the English translation of his name is Steve Reimer. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna shoot us. <laughs> All right, that, that winds up. That winds up. Uh, hey, get your hands off your. What do you think you are? You think you're Conan? No, I'm Pokemon. Conan. No, Pro- I'm Pokemon. No, that's Rubbing Mon. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wind up. Uh, news of the weird coming up. We got uh, talking real metal. All right, and uh, let's let's do another new tune. Let's do sure. this one. Let's do one from uh, the boys in Jackal. Yeah. <laughs> So let's rock me, roll me, jackal me off. Brand new music from Jackal. This one's called Rally on Rockin' Metal Revival. Here's your latest hard rock and metal news on Rockin' Metal Revival. All right, kids, gather around the stereo speakers, the computer speakers, or whatever your parents are making you listen to this on. It's time for Talking Real Metal. Wonder what they could be making them gather around besides maybe a fire. Yeah, maybe they're having a. They're uh, outside having a fire. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Make sure the neighbors don't hear this though. Uh, yeah, because, exactly. Because they, they don't want them educated too. No, that's right. This is the only time we educate you yeah, all week. This yeah. is your education time. Queen is frustrated by Donald Trump's repeated unauthorized use of "We Are the Champions." How do they get away with that? I don't know, man. It's not right, man. You should be. You should. If you created something like that, you should have some goddamn control over what who. Who's going to be able to use it is in it what public, public domain? forum? Yeah, it, no. Does that song fall into public domain? No, there's there's some some legal crap Loophole, that yeah. they're get going around with getting around in to do that. You know what? I I might make a call to this guy and see if we can get the real scoop on this. Eric okay. Brittingham says he is collateral damage in Cinderella dispute. Yeah, he's not the one in with the dispute going uh-uh. on. He's just. The one who has to pay a price along with yeah. everybody else. Iron Maiden Steve Harris drops yet another million from his asking, asking price of his English country home. I He's think going to get down there where we're going to be able to I, afford I it. think we should start one of those go uh, funder. Go fund us? Yeah, yeah, fund us. Fund us yeah. so we can buy his mansion. Yeah. Well, I'll just, all the listeners, all four of us will go. And party there, <laughs> yeah. Led Zeppelin's a complete BBC sessions to include previously unreleased recordings. Are you going to get this? I don't think so. There's Do you like have that? five albums five lps yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know there's only a couple you got that box set i mean and you've got no that isn't the bbc stuff but BBC... isn't the bbc stuff in there no that's oh, just okay. the actual album albums okay so. no nah, i don't think i'm gonna right. get that poison's ricky rocket wants to get the word out about immunotherapy uh after being declared cancer free good for him yeah man. that's good good for good ricky. news Slayer comic books coming later this year to a school near you. Cool. And that way you won't kill yourself. That's you right. Just read a Slayer comic book and listen to Slayer, That's man. That's right. It'll be great. Slayer is good for you. Yeah. Kisses Gene Simmons falls on stage during Bozeman, Montana concert. You saw I that. saw that. Yeah. I laughed a little. I, w- I paid. I listened. I turned up the volume really loud. I want to make sure the bass cut out in the actual music that was being played yeah. on stage. It did. It did. So yeah. he was playing. So yeah. I just, because backing tracks in some of these bands anymore. I know. And then you're paying yeah. all that money to go see them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah. Guns and Roses detained at Canadian border for gun possession. Well, they are guns. And yeah. roses. Yeah, what Come the on. hell do you expect? You, yeah. Canada. What the hell? Dumbasses. Jeez. All right. 29 year old man dies in tragic accident at Chicago Open Air Festival. Yeah, dummy. He was sitting on some freaking ledge up on. Yeah. Way, uh, way up where he shouldn't have did been. Did he s- fall off when Drowning Pool did bodies? I don't think so. Let the but that would have been. The that would have. Oh, yuck. When the old man was yeah. up there to, yeah. singing it, too. I, oh, man, that wouldn't be good. Frank Bellow says musical chemistry in Anthrax is a very natural thing. Well, that's good. You can Did, tell. Their their albums are good. Dude, have you seen all these like uh, knockoff T-shirts from bands that are on Facebook right now? There's lots of the them. The funniest yeah. thing the other day is, is they showed a new Anthrax, like 35 years of Anthrax shirt, and they had Dan Nelson wearing it. I have uh, died. Oh, I nice. laughed. Nice. Richie Blackmore says Rainbow might do a few more shows. Reveals set list will be 95% Rainbow songs. Woohoo. Okay. Uh, accepts Wolf Hoffman getting singer Mark Tornillo opened a lot of doors musically for us. Yeah, it did, actually. They've put out some pretty, pretty good, good records. Stuff, yeah. yeah. 
Megadeth cancels remaining shows for European tour after Dave Ellison's severe foot break. How do you do that? Ooh, he was walking the stage, stepped on something wrong, something twisted it, and snap. Ouch. Bad. Oh. Not, not good. Not good deal. Vince Neil, uh, Vince Neil sued by single mom after Las Vegas fight. That's because she wanted her part of the purse after kicking his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, report Joe Perry collapse caused by combination of dehydration and exhaustion. I've been there, man. That's a bitch. How do you get so dehydrated, though? I'm one, I mean, dude, I, it... I'm telling you, that day that I got my heat stroke, yeah. I was drinking water all day. You just can't it, stay it hydrated, just man. It, sweat it yeah, out. Yeah, you just and... sweat it out. And, huh. and then uh, oh, a statue of Motorhead's Lemmy to be unveiled next month at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Awesome. That's good, That'd man. That'd be cool. Is it going to be right at the... At his stool, <laughs> playing yeah. the video game. <laughs> I think it should be him giving a finger, because every picture I've seen, he's giving a finger in. <laughs> that would be a good one, too. All yeah. right, so that winds up uh, Talking Real Metal. Next hour, we're going to talk to Clinton from Another Lost Year. But right now, uh, you know what? Let's do uh, little Alice Cooper from Billion Dollar Babies. This is elected. Ooh. I'll vote for Alice. Oh, I'd, I'd vote for Alice, too. On Rock and Metal Revival. This portion of Rock and Metal Revival is brought to you by... I got two tickets to Van Halen this weekend. What time should I pick you up? It is Miss McGarrickle, Donnie. And that's cute, but I am your teacher, not your girlfriend. Whoa, Miss McGarrickle, you said anything about girlfriends? Let's just start the summer fling. Couple of hand jobs, no expectations. Don't get all psycho on me right away. That is a month's detention. What's a hand job? I don't know, but I think I want one. There's brand new music from Cheap Trick, and uh, it's called No Direction Home. Dude, that had so much old school Cheap Trick feel to oh, it. Oh, yeah. You could tell right out, right off the bat that it was Cheap yeah. Trick. And uh, the other night they played uh, with Hart a- in Chicago. It was Hart and Cheap Trick, and I'm trying to think. Oh, and Joan Jett, three Hall of Famers. Oh, wow. That would have been nice. a great show to see. Hell, yeah. Yeah. Hart's really good in concert, yeah. man. Ann Wilson hasn't lost anything, man. She's got the great voice yeah so. and you know the funny thing is 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 cheap trick's been a band for 40 years and i just went and saw him in november and robin zander sounds like he did back when i used to go see him in the early 80s hard to believe when you smoke like that. yeah <laughs> smoke and everything yeah and still keep your voice that's yeah. just something that's going crazy. on there you know uh you know like i just said you know cheap trick been around 40 years kiss been around 40 years a lot of bands being Quit, around. A you're long making time. me feel old. But no, but dude, think about it. Now think about all the bands that are out now. Yeah. How many of them do you think are going to be around 40 years from now? Nah, I can't think. I can't name any that I think will still be around. You know, still be out there touring and stuff. They're it's hard, man. The music industry is hard now. Yeah. I mean, it's you know the they, the financial support's just not there for bands yeah, anymore. They're, they have to just tour and tour and tour, tour just yeah. to make any kind of money. Exactly. You take any time off the road, and you're just taking money out of your pocket. Exactly, and, so. and you know, and, and I we I go see a lot of live bands in in the local clubs and stuff, and a band like Another Lost Year, who is very talented, and yeah. and, and I think should have a long career doing stuff, and their music should be being played on uh, testicular radio. It, it's not, yeah, you know. So uh, we might it, be able to change that. And that's what we're working on right now. Yeah. And uh, Clinton, uh, the lead vocalist from Another Lost Year, is going to join us in just a few minutes. We're going to play their new single from their uh, CD, Alien Architect. Go out and buy this one, man. Don't stream it. Don't yeah. Don't steal it. Yeah. Don't buy, buy it. it. Yeah. This is called "We All Die Alone." Another happy tune. No, it's a happy, a happy tune. title. Yeah. But you know what, <laughs> metal fans. Yeah, we'll get it. We know. Yeah, it just helps with your mortality. That's you right. Know, exactly. Your mot- Coming up, Clinton from another lost year next on Rock and Metal Revival. Right there is brand new music from a band. I'm telling you what, Jerry, if you see them live, you will never forget. It's called Another Lost Year. That's called We All Die Alone. And uh, that's big praise coming from you, who see so many bands. I see a lot of bands, and you know what? I I've stumbled upon these guys because they played with our brothers, Torn Between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we are lucky enough to have Clinton Cunanan on the phone with us. He is the lead vocalist and uh, pretty much front man for all things Another Lost Year. And welcome to the show, Clinton. Ah, welcome to myself. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Brother, it is good to have you on the show. I'm telling you, you know, the first time I saw you, you guys were opening for Romantic Rebel. And I remember I was standing next to a mutual friend of ours, Rollin. And I turned, oh, yeah, Raleigh, and I and I turned and I looked at him. And I go, man, these guys are killer. 
<laughs> okay. So then he says to me, hey, we're going to be opening for them up to Fort Atkinson. I'm like, all right, I'll take a cruise up. And I was totally blown away. How long have you guys been together? Uh, just over five years. We uh, we started uh, about five years ago. Started as an acoustic project for me. I was uh, kind of working on the, on a solo thing, and and the, the guy I was working with was like, "You'll never convince anybody that this is just you." And so I just started working with some guys that I had known in my past uh, bands, and we started doing this. And of course, uh, you know, as it goes on, like I can pretty much say the timeline of anybody who starts a band within the first six months, everybody's. It's all the honeymoon phase. Oh, yeah, man, we're totally going to be the next year's thing. And then six months usually rolls around. And somebody's like, man, i got to go to work today. I can't. I'm late. My wife's yelling at me or something. You know, mm-hmm. the, the same old story, man. But oh, yeah. we, uh, we're fortunate enough to keep it together. And, um, you know, we've had members come and go along the way. But, uh, you know, Adam and I have pretty much been there since inception. Uh, Adam came about three weeks after we actually uh, launched as an last year. So he's, he's as close to the OG as you can get besides myself. So now you guys didn't go through a spinal tap thing with a bunch of drummers, did you? Uh, we've had uh, 17 drummers. See, that... nice, nice. Did any, <laughs> any of them spontaneously combust or anything like that? Uh, two of them. Two of them did. And then, uh, <laughs> it happens a lot, in... a lot more than you'd think. Yeah, I yeah, know. One of them was turned into a newt. Uh, that was kind of weird. But uh, <laughs> he got better. <laughs> nice. You know, now Clinton, oh, now, now we we've had uh, Jose from Three Years Hollow on the show. I'm and he, sorry, I, I'm sorry I, I, I know, brother. Sorry. You know what? Um, I uh, Jose is a special kind of guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we love Jose, but you know he he helped you on this album, right? He did. He did. And funny story, real quick, totally off subject, but it's about Jose. Is uh, people are always like. I can never say his last name right away because you got to say it with an accent, man. Uh-huh. Squeeze, uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice. But, uh, yeah, Jose and I, uh, it's funny, we toured together about four years ago when he was in three years old. He's still in three years old. But when they were, uh, Ch- Chemical Rod was actually doing really well at the time today. Yeah. And uh, it's so funny, we had so much friction on that tour. It was, uh, it was really weird. But uh, as it went on, we became uh, really good friends. And he, over the years, he's like, man, you should let me, you know, let me mix a song for you, just show you what I can do. And, of course, me being me, I was like, nah, no, I'm a snob. You cannot help me, Jose. Uh, I'm kidding. So <laughs> finally, the stars kind of aligned, and I got into a jam where I needed to use Jose to do some mixing. And uh, he was about an hour from where I was at that particular moment in time, and he's like, I'd really like to, to redo the vocals. And I went in and, and to his uh, studio at the time, which was uh, uh, a house. He's since moved studios three times since he's got done with our album so i think he's Man. doing okay i'm not sure but, yeah uh, <laughs> he uh you know that was, was kind of how we fell in love and became uh you know romantic lovers nice <laughs> nice right. hey and there's nothing wrong with that yeah no, no hey we're no, not judging not at all. we're not, not judging, judging at all no. now hey no. I, the one thing that I, I that i really dig about about another lost year is is there's actual vocals and harmonies and dr- melodies. melodies and driving yeah. guitar. Uh, do you see that that sound coming back? Um, it's funny because it's kind of the thing, you know, one thing that we pride ourselves on is that we're, we write real real music. You know, it's not, we're not trying to be the heaviest band out. There's already a five-finger death punch. There's already a, a, a nothing more. There's already a slip knot. You know, I like, and it's funny because when we were doing the Better Days album, I remember going in and thinking, while wow, these songs have to be heavier, they need to be heavier. It needs to be more, more, more rock, and you know, that that wasn't the case. Like they just needed to be true, and that's what we've stayed doing throughout the the years. And uh, yeah. you know, Escape the Fate is uh, was one of those bands that kind of they 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 started off doing that. I remember something was a great song, and then they kind of they got away from it. But you know, now their new album and everything, it, it seems to be kind of coming back to it. And the bands that can actually write music and can actually sing are, are going to be the ones that will stand the test of time. People are waking up to this crap, man. It's crap. There's a bunch of friggin' crap out there. And people exactly. are getting, uh, getting hip to it, man. And I, I'm glad that, that that's happening. So how long has the this last formation of the band been together? Uh, two years. We're going on two years of this uh, current lineup right now. Nate was our sound guy who's now our drummer. And, uh, nice. Our, there you go. Our, our, he, our Anybody can before. play drums. Just say, hey, <laughs> you, over there. Go, what? come on, come on. 
Well, it, when you it, go through seventeen, eventually you're going to get someone in the in the crew, right? That's what, you know, you got to you got to have backups, man. It's all about. I'm in the business of backups. That's what <laughs> oh, I always yeah. say. And uh, but now uh, Lee, our drummer before Nate, um, when they were in high school, Nate was the drummer, and Lee was always the guy who was tagging along. And then this band, Lee was the drummer, and Nate was tagging along. And uh, Lee had a couple babies uh, and got married, and Nate stepped in there. And um, of course, Adam went to play in bass when Jason, our bass player, tore up his shoulder. Uh, so he transitioned over to bass. Then our lead guitar player now, George, he was actually in a Bion band while we were out on the Save and Able tour about two and a half years ago. And he, uh, at the end of the tour, he was like, man, I want to come with you guys. And I'm like, you're on a Prevost. Uh, you get a paycheck. You go to Walmart every day and you get food in your refrigerator. You're going to come into my van that is not a Prevost or get paid. And I'm probably going to fire you in Ohio on the coldest night of the year. And you're yeah. going to sit at McDonald's for two hours and you're not even going to play guitar. You're going to be selling merch. And he said, okay. And so he did. He came and sold merch for us for three months, and I fired him in Ohio on the coldest night, and he sat at McDonald's for two hours. And he came back, and then he started playing lead guitar for us. <laughs> nice. Now, yeah. you guys, were you on that Saving Able tour with with uh, Three Years Hollow? Uh, no, nah, we were actually, uh, I think, the tour after that. Uh, okay. The CSC, I think that was the Three Years Hollow Blacklight District. It was um, it was us and Saving Able, and then uh, whoever the... They, we had several bands that were out uh, opening that tour, okay. um, just doing different bio slots. So. so now you guys are you're from North Carolina, but you've been playing up here in the Midwest a lot. Do you find uh, uh, this area of the country is is more driven towards y- your band? Absolutely, the Midwest is uh, it's great. I'm actually I, I basically I think I live in Wisconsin now. I don't know. I have not. <laughs> <It's weird. laughs> um, but I know I love it here. Uh, my girlfriend's here, so I spend a lot of time here with her. But, um, yeah, the Midwest is great, man. The, the fans are, I think it's because everything is kind of so, I say close, like two to three hours. But, you know, you see people driving from all over, you know, five, six hours, seven hours away to come, you know, night after night. I've got, we've got some fans that are on, like, show 75, 76 right now. And it just it baffles me that these people, A, come to that many shows. B, I don't know what they do for money. <laughs> and C, you know, just that they can tolerate us that much. But it's, uh. It's really cool, man. Like you, it gives you hope and it makes you realize that you're doing something good. Because I, I see a lot of bands that kind of come off through the ranks, and you know they just don't retain the fans. And fortunately, we've been one of the bands lucky enough to retain the bands and kind of keep growing uh, organically. And we're we're truly appreciative of all the opportunities that we get. All right, well, very cool. Now, uh, you thinking about uh, hooking up on a package tour here pretty soon, or, or what, what's the plan for touring for the rest of 2016? Yeah, we're uh, we're working on that right now. We've had, uh, you know, everything's all talked uh, at this point. We, the last couple of weeks have been like a ridiculous rush for us. Uh, the album came out, debuted like number eight on Billboard or some junk like that. It was kind of cool. Um, you know, radios is, is taking off, uh, doing a lot of interviews, hanging out, and uh, seeing a lot of a lot of growth uh, in our fan base and how we spread now versus you know releases prior mm-hmm. to. So it's uh, it's hopeful, but it, again, it comes back to it's kind of a paper game with everybody. You know, you have to you have to have these numbers so that you can go out and get bigger tours. But the bigger tours that I'm air quoting bigger tours, like we're out drawing these bigger tours. Like, and that's I'm not, of course, I'm not talking about like a five finger death punch or something. But you know, there's a lot of bands out there that are playing the 250, 350 cap rooms that that think that we can't bring any asset to the table. And I'm just like, dude, we out draw you every night of the week. Yeah. Um, so trying to find bands that are that really recognize what's going on is tough at our level. Who don't want us to buy on? Because you know we yeah, we understand how the industry works, but on the other hand, like we've we've been cultivating the land. You know, we do 250 shows a year, and this is uh, and the reason that we can put bodies to the door is because we put in the time. So I've got uh, got some great great bands that are kind of up and coming. Artifice is one of the bands that we're talking to right now. Um, you know, and, and talking to Raleigh, man, I'd like to get torn between out doing a little run with us. But, you know, probably just doing some headline stuff, kind of keep banging against uh, the machine um, while We All Die Alone is out doing its work right now, just kind of setting up for the next single, which would be to Beautiful Away. Okay. And, uh, you know, looking for uh, to get in front of as many people as possible, you know, whatever it takes. If i got to play in somebody's living room, I don't care, I'll do it. <laughs> Sweet. So uh, are there any tracks on the new album you think would have benefited from adding some cowbell? 
Uh, yes, every single one of them, and I fought for that. I know. They, Is that why you've had to get rid of so many drummers? Because they're not good with the cowbell? Or they're too exactly good? exactly why. You know, I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at Lee, I'm like, hey, Lee, cowbell. I even, I even had this special sign that was like, it was illuminated, and I would step on it during the show, and it would say, cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we never do a show without cowbell. <laughs> We've learned. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, look what it did. Look what it did for uh, BOC. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, yeah. They were. They don't fear the Reaper, man. Whatever they do, that's they right. Do it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, you don't do honky tonk woman without cowbell. You don't no, do no, uh, just not right. American Band. I mean, there's so many classics. You got cowbell's <laughs> the way to go. Yeah, I so, mean, those songs sold multi platinum. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, we're not joking around. You know, uh, we had John Karabi on last week. He said he's going to do a song with nothing but cowbell. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> cowbell, cheese curd blues, or something. Yeah. He's going to call it. We're yeah. we're excited. Yeah, so be good. Uh, and if you're going to live in Wisconsin, Clinton, you might as well do one. Yeah, uh, you you know what? The, I think I'm. I, it's funny. I need mean, my word here. I'm a. Uh, I'm basically living in Madison right now. Actually, <laughs> the, the forest is where I've been living for like the last month. But uh, I was my good girlfriend was down in North Carolina. I was like, God, I was like, you know, it's, I'm sure it's hot in Wisconsin, but you guys don't have humidity like we did. And yesterday, boy, I was eating my words. I was like, man, this is <laughs> welcome, misery. Welcome yeah, to Wisconsin. Yeah, Sometimes so it, you can get that way. If people want to keep up with another lost year, where's the best place, Clinton? Uh, Facebook is the best place, um, truthfully, just because it's, it's easy to, to spread things. We have a website, who is AOY.com. It's currently under construction. Um, if you have Twitter, official underscore AOY, Instagram is another lost year. But honestly, like we get, we have, we have great reception through our, our, our another lost year Facebook page, but it's the people that like to seek out and find us personally. Like that's mm-hmm. where you really start to have the interactive experience because like, you know, we're, we're multifaceted in every aspect of what we do. You know, not only do I just, uh, you know, write the music and everything, but I'm also doing, like, videos and things like that. Nate's doing some engineering production. You know, we're, we're very hands-on with everything that we do, and we're just we're a bunch of idiots, truthfully, and people <laughs> people seem to gravitate towards the stupidity. It's like jackass, only, like, way better. Nice. Hey, thank that's God. Kind of, that's kind of like us. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like you and I, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, uh, if, they, if people want to get the album, it's available everywhere? It is available uh, everywhere, pretty much. Um, iTunes, uh, Amazon, Google. Uh, you can get it online, Best Buy, FYE, Walmart, uh, EMPmerch.com, who is AOY.com. All right. Nice. You know, I, and, I, and I would like to say this, too, is like a lot of people will go out and they, you know, the question is, like, how do you feel about streaming services like Spotify or Pandora or what's some of the other, uh, Apple Radio yeah, or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I don't even, you know, I, I don't have the money that Taylor Swift does to say I'm not putting my money on X, Y, Z or whatever. Yeah. And uh, truthfully, I, it, it, there might be some people who just are very anti-buying stuff, but if people just take a few minutes and they, they head over and they, they buy the album, like that little bit just makes a huge difference, not financially, but in the numbers game, you know. It's yeah. like oh, yeah. we, can, we can get back to to when when artists were about the music but we have to show people that the artists are about the music you know exactly. amen to that yep. and uh i'm gonna throw another plug out here if you're gonna buy the new album alien architect also pick up the first one because i yeah. really dig the first one i mean that was awesome, the one man. that made me an AO, uh aoy fan and uh we're gonna play one off that called war you want to give us a little insight on this tune yeah man war was uh <clears throat> was about a year year after my mom had died I uh, I was just kind of sitting there. You know, every day you're faced with life decisions, left, right, up, down. Do you run a stop sign? Do you not eat chicken for dinner? I mean, there's, there's all these little decisions that add up to make huge decisions for, for major ramifications, and that's basically what it's about. You know, the video depicts drug abuse, which, you know, I've been down that road as well, but it's not just about that, man. People fight these, these battles and demons every day, uh, and, and I say it every night, you know, if you've if you've been at the business end of a gun or you've been at the end of the rope or standing on the ledge and you're still standing here today and you're listening to this, well, congratulations because you're one of the ones that made it out. So, you know, take it for what it is and enjoy life every second that you can. Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah. You are welcome back on this show anytime you want, Clinton. We wish you all the success, and uh, you've got some friends here at Rock and Metal Revival. Thank you, guys. I truly appreciate it, and uh, thanks for your support, not just for us, but uh, 
you know, all the all the bands out there like form between and stuff like that, man. It, it takes guys like you doing what you do to uh, to help keep the machine going. So truly, from from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Rock and metal revival from the classic album Fair Warning. There is Van Halen, and so this is love on Rock and Metal Revival. Remember the first time you saw that video on MTV? That's that live one. Oh, they, yeah, were, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it was like, man, I wish I would have saw these guys in concert. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> Did you Didn't, never? I never saw the original. Oh, I never saw Van Halen in concert. No, no way, dude. No way. Ser- see, and I yeah. have never seen ACDC. Yeah, see, so. But I saw Randy Rhodes. Yeah. I'm not going to. You're not going to go there? I'm not going to go there. I'm nope. not going to call you what I want to call you. Okay. But, uh, you know, seriously, <laughs> young, well, I saw Van Halen on uh the fair no was it fair warning yeah fair warning and i saw them on uh 1984 yeah and then i saw van hagar i saw them on 5150 OU812, oh you 812 saw yeah. all those which one um, did you like the best they're two different bands in my book man yeah you know i mean to me i love sammy hagar i, I think one of the best vocalists of all times. And Rockland. live, yeah. too. He's, and, yeah, he's we right saw him live. Yeah, he kills, saw man. Him live, and it's like, wow. And, and Dave's not that great live, but that band is just... He's a good showman. Yeah. He's a good front man. He's yeah. what front men should be. But um, but when I saw him, he still had his voice. But not if, you, like if these... you watch black any old Black Oak Arkansas video yeah. of them, it's... I. Dave Dave does exactly what freaking Jim Dandy does. Really? Exactly. Yeah. We'll he check stole, that out he after stole the show. Jim Dandy's whole show. show. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But the look, look, the shirtless yeah. and the same gyrations. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. they, they, they accused Mark Torian of that when he Except came out with Dave, the Dave. Dave could sing better yeah. than Jim, Jim Dandy. Jim Dandy's yeah. a terrible singer. He wasn't uh, a dandy singer? No, he was not dandy at singing. No. No, All I right. don't know why how we got that name. But. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, it was uh, fun having Clinton on the show uh, yeah. from another last year. He's welcome back here anytime, man. That's We're a good Looking band. forward to some cowbell in their songs. Yeah. Go through all those drummers. In good. a couple of weeks, we get to talk to Karabi and make sure, see how he's coming with those cheese curd blues. Yeah, that would be awesome. We should record one for him. Yeah, Let we him could do, to it. do a, do a, a, just a cowbell solo, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like a... Can you plug that into your pedals yeah. and stuff? That would be cool. Get yeah, I've been mic it, mic it. Yeah, yeah put a wah wah. We'll work on that. Gotta have a wah wah. I really don't know who our guest is next week. We're gonna have one though. Maybe we should just randomly call a number. We could always call and wake up Curtis. Yeah, we haven't sure done that in a long time. Sure he'd appreciate. He loves hearing from yeah. us. Yeah. So, um, well, that we've played some pretty good new live music or new new music, I should say. We've heard from uh, Pretty Reckless, Monster Truck, Jackal. Uh, we've heard new music from Cheap Trick, Blackstone Cherry, Another Lost Year, Airborne. You're hearing it here first. We're like the old MTV. Yeah, we're so, without Kurt Loader. Yeah, and Tavis Asorand. And anything yeah. entertaining. But we want to <laughs> we want to thank all of our affiliates. You guys, we've all, got more nudity than that's they right had, than exactly, they had exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank all our affiliates. You guys rock. Without you guys, we know but we'd have like less than ten listeners. And we want to thank. Right now we got eleven. So. Yeah. And we want to thank uh, the hog for taking a, a chance on us. We'll keep oh, you updated yeah. That'll be when cool. that's going to happen. And uh, you know, sitting out late at night when you're out uh, drinking beers with your friends and you want a few laughs. Yeah. You can listen to us, but the music will be good. Yeah, you ain't gonna laugh. You ain't gonna We're learn stupid, anything. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's get the heck on out of here. Here's a band that we haven't heard in a while. Uh, Silver Tongue. Remember we played them a couple years ago when they came out of their new album? Yeah, yeah. I thought they're almost as good as Gold Tongue. Yeah. Just just a little little bit not quite worth as much as Gold Tongue. But I like this band. And uh, they got a new CD out called Out of the Box. And this one's called <laughs> Devil's Advocate. Keep that tongue out of the box. That's right. And remember, always, don't drink and drive. Smoke and fly. Peace. This brings to an end another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. If you enjoyed it, tell a friend. If you didn't, tell two. Until next time, this is Rock and Metal Revival. I said, who wants to fucking touch me? 
catch the whole show of Rock and Metal Revival, all you have to do is check it out on these affiliates. Mega Rock Radios on Saturdays from 11 a.m. Eastern Time and on Uncontrolled Noise Tuesdays at 1 a.m., Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern on UncontrolledNoise.com. And make sure that you leave them a message and tell them that you found Rock and Metal Revival on their stations.